We're here at NRA headquarters at the NRA range. It is the NRA's Veterans Day shoot here, and, and we're out here covering it, and, and ran into David Keene, NRA president. David, thank you for having NRA News out here to cover us. Tell us, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here to thank the folks that are participating. You know, this is the fourth time we've done this. We open up the range uh, in honor of our veterans on Veterans Day so that local veterans can come and experience the NRA range, uh, which is a tremendous facility, uh, and uh, get an opportunity to, to get to know us a little better. They're all part of our family. Most of these people are NRA members. About half of them that will be shooting tonight uh, haven't been to the range before. Uh, but it'll familiarize themselves with them and gives us an opportunity to say thanks. I mean, the military is very important, not just to the NRA, Brad but to every American. Army. 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 And, and, and I guess a good term to use for this is, is, a, is a family. It's like the extended family, a lot of these veterans and the NRA family just blend so well together. There's always like an, uh, it's almost a festive atmosphere, people getting together. Well, that's exactly right. You know what, we like to talk about the NRA family. Uh, the, the NRA is made up of hunters and former military people, police officers, women, people that are interested in competitive shooting, gun collecting, hunting, self-defense and the like. Uh, and it really is a family. You know, I travel around and other officers travel around the country uh, and meet with our members and meet with others that are interested in the NRA. And we always refer to ourselves as a family. It's a large extended family. It's why uh, we have the influence that we have in this country. It's why, because our people hang together. Uh, and they respond together. They care very much about the Second Amendment, they care very much about the shooting sports, and they feel that the NRA is theirs, and, it, and they're absolutely right about that. Another thing, when I talk to military folks a lot, is that a lot of reason they get into it is to protect our freedoms, whether it's Second Amendment freedoms, all our freedoms in general, and that's a core belief for the NRA as well. Well, that's exactly right. You know, the NRA was formed after the Civil War, really by union officers who uh, found that the, the, the North was recruiting soldiers in the industrial cities then of the, of, along the coast who had come from Europe where there was no shooting tradition. And even back then they found that these folks really weren't familiar with firearms. When it was all over, they said, you know, this country and its independence was based on firearms. And as we go forward, we should do all we can to make sure that Americans are familiar with firearms, they're familiar with gun safety, they know how to use them, because ultimately that is our defense. Uh, and that, the result of that was the formation of the National Rifle Association and the competitive matches and all that we participated in over the years. And our basic membership has come from people who share that concern. We involve ourselves in a lot of different areas in the shooting sports, but ultimately the Second Amendment the right to keep and bear arms comes down to defining America as, con as compared to other countries. You know, at our last annual meeting, uh, I had a meeting with the uh, vice chairman of the Russian Senate, uh, and they were trying to, he was very interested in setting up a gun rights organization in Russia. Uh, and it was really built upon the fact that we have one uh, Russian honorary life member, General Kalishnikov who on his 85th birthday, after being uh, uh, toasted by Mr. Putin, responded by looking Putin in the eye and said that his dream was a Russia governed by men and women not afraid of an armed populace. We live in a nation that has been governed for hundreds of years, a couple hundred years, by, by governments that have not been afraid of the fact and in fact encourage an armed populace. And it's our job and the job of the whole NRA family to, to maintain and guarantee that that right is there for those who come after us as it was for those who came before us. Great. And what a great way to, to represent that by having this event tonight. Thank you so much for being here and thank you for having us tonight. It's my, it's my pleasure. Thank you for being here.